I'm Dr. Susan Love, the Chief Visionary Officer of the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation. Our mission is a future without breast cancer, and we do that through innovative research into the cause and prevention of the disease. Inpatient Science is a series of videos that we've made to help explain to you the options for treatment and guide you along the way. As you learn more about your tumor, it's important to know if your cancer is triple negative. Like your garden, you need to understand the kinds of weeds that are robbing your plants of the nutrition they need. This will help you and your team determine which treatment options are most effective against your tumor. All breast tumors are tested to see if they have estrogen receptors, progesterone receptors, or if they overproduce proteins called HER2. If your pathology report shows that your biopsy did not demonstrate these biological markers, it is known as triple negative breast cancer. This doesn't mean that your situation is triply worse than someone whose tumor demonstrates these markers. It just tells your oncologist that your tumor isn't going to respond to targeted therapies such as hormones or HER2 treatments. Triple negative is the least common of the subtypes. In an average group of 100 women with breast cancer, between 10 and 20 of them will be determined to be triple negative. Triple negative breast cancers tend to grow more aggressively and spread more quickly than most other types of breast cancer. Luckily, chemotherapy works best for this subtype. Just like a herbicide, it can kill most of the fast-growing weeds in your garden. We are still learning about who gets triple negative breast cancer and how best to treat it. Fortunately, we're making great strides towards understanding. Triple negative as a subtype is more common among premenopausal women. And interestingly, hereditary breast cancers that develop in women with a BRCA1 DNA mutation are also more likely to be triple negative. We don't know why yet, but African American women are more likely to develop a triple negative tumor as well. The good news is that because triple negative breast cancer is so aggressive, patients who live more than five years without a recurrence have a significant chance of long-term survival. Research is showing us that the triple negative tumors are more likely to cause an immune reaction, and that can suggest that your body is trying to eliminate it. This is an exciting time in cancer research as promising clinical trials are developed every year, targeting new approaches to treat breast cancer. One active area currently being explored in trials is using immunologic approaches to treat triple negative breast cancer. This would be akin to using natural pest control methods to rid your garden of weeds. This approach holds much promise for the treatment of triple negative breast cancer, including the development of vaccines. And that is a great reason to be hopeful. At the Dr. Susan Love Research Foundation, we'd like to end breast cancer. But until we do, we want to make sure you understand what your choices are. If you want to support us, go to drsusanloveresearch.org. Or you can join one of our programs and help us get to the end of breast cancer.